All right. So in Genesis chapter 1, God created the heavens and the earth. And in Genesis chapter 2, God rested, and Lord God created the heavens and the earth. In Genesis chapter 3, Adam and Eve ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And then Lord God cast them out of the Garden of Eden and basically locked the gates behind them. He didn't want them to return partially because there was another tree there that he didn't want them to eat from. This was the tree of life. Basically, if they'd eaten from it, then they would become immortal, which basically meant that they would become like gods. And this frightened Lord God. So, now it's time for Genesis chapter 4. Now Adam had sexual relations with his wife Eve, and she became pregnant. When she gave birth to Cain, she said, With the Lord's help, I have produced a man. Later, she gave birth to his brother and named him Abel. When they grew up, Abel became a shepherd while Cain cultivated the ground. When it was time for the harvest, Cain presented some of his crops as a gift to the Lord. Also, Ab al bleh. Abel also brought a gift, the best of the firstborn lambs from his flock. The Lord accepted Abel and his gift, but he did not accept Cain and his gift. This made Cain very angry, and he looked dejected. Why are you so angry? the Lord asked Cain. Why do you look so dejected? You will be accepted if you do what is right. But if you refuse to do what is right, then watch out. Sin is crouching, is crouching at the door, eager to control you. But you must subdue it and be its master. So, basically, uh, Cain and Abel brought... Lord God gifts, uh, Cain brought crops, and Abel brought lambs. <laughs> and apparently it was a sin to bring him crops. It, it was morally wrong. You know, between crops and lamb, you know, that, that's understandable. I, I think I, I'd rather have lamb too. Yeah, just thinking about some sizzling juicy lamb on a plate with some crazy seasoning on it maybe some like teriyaki sauce or something I don't know I've never had lamb uh, <laughs> I assume it tastes good <laughs> so so me and Lord God are on the same page on this one hey, I'll take the lamb please <laughs> one day Cain suggested to his brother let's go out into the fields and while they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother, Abel, and killed him. Afterward, the Lord asked Cain, Where is your brother? Where is Abel? I don't know, Cain responded. Am I my brother's guardian? But the Lord said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are cursed and banished from the ground, which has swallowed your brother's blood. No longer will the ground yield good crops for you, no matter how hard you work. From now on, you will be a homeless wanderer on the earth. Cain replied to the Lord, My punishment is too great for me to bear. You have, pun you have banished me from the land and your from your presence. You have made me a homeless wanderer. Anyone who finds me will kill me. The Lord replied, No. For I will give a sevenfold punishment to anyone who kills you. Then the Lord, then the Lord put a mark on Cain to warn anyone who might try to kill him. So Cain left the Lord's presence and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain had sexual relations with his wife, and she became a, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Enoch. Then Cain founded a city which he named Enoch after his son. Now it's kind of interesting here because. I was kind of like under the impression that uh, God had created Adam and Eve and that they were basically the only people on the planet and that they like fucked and gave birth to Cain and Abel and then Cain killed Abel which you know would leave me to think that all that was left was Adam, Eve, and Cain but you know all of a sudden, Cain's like worried about being sent out into the world because he's worried about other people killing him. And then all of a sudden, he's got a wife. 
Where the hell did she come from? <laughs> Next thing you know, he's building a fucking city. There's so many people on this planet that Kane is founding a city. Well, I guess I was wrong about there being so few people being created. Enoch had a son named Irad. Irad became the father of Mahujael. Mahujael became the father of Methushael. Methushael became the father of Lamech. <laughs> Lamech married two women. The first was named Ada, and the second was Zillah. Ada gave birth to Jabal, <laughs> who was the first of those who raise livestock and live in tents. His brother's name was Jubal. <laughs> The first of all who played the harp and flute. Lamech's other wife, Zilla, gave birth to a son named Tubal Cain. He became an expert in forging tools of bronze and iron. Tubal Cain had a sister named Naama. One day, Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zilla, hear my voice. Listen to me, you wives of Lamech. I have killed a man who attacked me, a young man who wounded me. If someone who kills Cain is punished seven times, then the one who kills me will be punished seventy-seven times. And then all of a sudden we transition over to, Adam had sexual relations with his wife again, and she gave birth to another son. She named him Seth. For she said, God has granted me another son in place of Abel whom Cain killed. When Seth grew up, he had a son and named him Enosh. At that time, people first began to worship the Lord by name. That chapter was so fucked up. <laughs> that was Genesis chapter 4. Uh, I'll be back with Genesis chapter 5. Peace out.